And now, for creating a new presentation, we will include the auto palette, inserting slides, selecting slides, formatting a page, formatting slides, workspace views, and running the slideshows. After launching OpenOffice.org, an autopilot presentation window appears. Empty presentation creates a presentation from scratch. From template, uses a template design already created as the base of a new presentation. Open existing presentation continues work on a previously created presentation. Now, click on the empty presentation and click Next to continue. Next is... Select a slide design, choose original for no slide design, select how presentation will be used, click next to continue. On this part, the effect option creates transitions between all the slides in the presentation, select no effect for no transition effect, transitions can be added and changed later, click create to end the autopilot. On this part, Type in a title for the slide in the area marked name. Click a thumbnail slide from a select an auto layout section to select that layout. Click OK. And now, to add the slide to the new presentation, go to the insert menu and select slide. Next is, insert a title for the slide in the name field. Choose the slide layout from select an auto layout section. Click OK. Now for selecting slides, a new slide tab appears at the bottom of the workspace for each inserted slide. Click on a slide tab to select and display that tab. For formatting a page, go to the format menu and click page. And now, in this window you can change the format, the orientation and the margins of the page. Next is Select Modify Layout from the Format menu. The Modify Slide window appears. On this part, modify the layout by choosing a new layout from the Select an Auto Layout section. And now, Impress has five different workspace views from which to choose. Each view is designated to make completing certain tasks easier. These are the Drawing View, Outline View, Slide View, Notes View, and the Handout View. And now, Drawing View is the main view for creating individual slides. Use this view to format and design, add text, graphics, and animation effects. On this part, Outline view shows topic titles, bulleted list, and numbered list for each slide in the outline format. This view lets you rearrange the order of the slides, edit titles and headings, rearrange the order of the item in a list, and add new slides. And now, slide view shows a small version of each slide in order to rearrange the order of a slides. Produce a timed slideshow or add transitions between slides. Next is Notes view lets you add notes to each slide that are not seen when the presentation is shown. You can print this note and refer to them while giving a presentation. And now, Handout view reduces several slides at the presentation and efficiently rearrange slides in this view by simply dragging and dropping them. To view the presentation, click on the Start Slideshow button or go to the Slideshow menu and select Slideshow. The shortcut key for this feature is F9. Use the arrow keys on the keyboard to go to the next slide or to go back the previous one. You can also click the mouse or press the spacebar on the keyboard to advance to the next slide. When the last slide appears, the message, click to exit presentation, appears. Click the mouse or press any key to exit the presentation. For editing slides, we will include on how to insert text, formatting text, creating bulleted or numbered list, changing slide background, and importing graphics. 
For inserting text, click on the text icon in the main toolbar. Click on the slide and drag to draw a box. Release the mouse when finished. The cursor appears in the text box, which is now in the edit mode. Type the text in the box. Click outside the text box to the select. The text must be selected before it can be formatted. To format all text in the text box, click on the text then click once on the border of the text box. Now, any formatting changing will apply to all text in the box. To format only a part of the text, click once on the text, then select the part to be formatted by clicking and dragging or highlighting over it. Formatting changes will apply only to the selected text. To view the character formatting option, select character from the format menu or click the character button on the object bar. In this window, you can specify the font, the typeface, and the size of the text. At the bottom of the window, there is a free view of the selected font. To view the paragraph formatting options, select paragraph from the format menu or click the paragraph button on the object bar. In this window, you can specify options about paragraphs. To create a bulleted or numbered list from auto layout text boxes, insert a new slide or modify the current one and then select an auto layout that contains a numbered list. Click in the box that reads, click to add an outline. Type the text, then press enter to start a new bulleted line or the next sequential numbered line. Press shift, press enter to start a new line without creating a new bullet or number. Creating a new outline label. Press tab. Each time you press tab, the line indents to the new outline label. Pressing enter creates a new line at the same level as the previous one. Changing bullet type. Click in the list, then click on the gray border of the text box so that just the green resizing handles are displayed. Select numbering or bullets from the format menu or click on the numbering symbols button. Click a bullet style to choose it. Click OK. Changing from bullet list or numbered list. Click in the list, then click on the gray border of the text box so that just the green resizing handles are displayed. Select numbering or bullets from the format menu or click on the numbering symbols button. Click the numbering type tab if switching from bullets to number. Click the bullet tab if switching from numbers to bullet. Click a bullet style to choose it. Click OK. To change the slide background, select Page from the Format menu and then select on the Background tab. Choose the type and style of background desired. Click OK. A message box appears asking Background setting for all pages. Click Yes if you would like the background appear on all the pages or No if you would like the background to only appear on the selected slide. If you choose yes, all slides have the same background. To insert an image, select graphics from the insert menu. Choose an image to insert in your document and click open. If the free view checkbox is selected, a preview of the image content is displayed on the right. You can resize the image just by dragging one of the eight green points surrounding the picture. When the move cursor appears over the image, you can move the picture. To delete an image, click on it and then press delete. Now for the slide transitions and animations, we will include slide transitions and animation effects. Slide transitions are the effect that take place when a slide gives way to the next one in the presentation. You can apply a different transition to all slides in the presentation 
or apply different transition to any single slide. There are two ways to add a transition. First way is to add a transition from the slide view. When you switch in this mode, the object bar presents many options for choosing and controlling the slide effects. Second way is to select slide transition from the slideshow menu to open the slide transition window. The effects button displays the various transitions. The extras button displays the options for timing transitions and making them automatic, semi-automatic, or manual. The update button displays the transition settings for the selected slide. The assign button applies the chosen effect to the selected slide. The preview button opens a handy window for viewing an applied transition. On this part, applying a slide transition effect. From slide view, click on a slide to select it. The transition you apply to this slide will appear when the slide comes into view in the slideshow. Choose slide transition from the slideshow menu. Choose an effect category from the pop-up menu above the main effects window. Click on the thumbnail image to select the transition. Choose a transition speed from the pop-up menu above the main effects window. Click the assign button. Now for animation effects, animations are similar to transition effects but they are applied to individual elements within a single slide. Animation effects must be applied from drawing view. Select the object and then choose effects from the slideshow menu or click the animation effects button in the main toolbar. And now, the effects button displays the various animations. The text effect button is only active when a text box containing text is selected. It displays the various animation effects that you can apply to text objects. The extra button displays additional options for text and sound. The order button displays an outline of objects that are on the selected slide in the order effects will play. The update assign and preview button are the same as in the slide transition window. To apply the animation, select an effect from the animation effect window. Choose the speed of the animation and then press the assign button. The preview button shows you the animation preview in a window. I just wanna know you better.